Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a short video on how to download iTunes for Windows 10. Alright, um, to begin with, let's go ahead and open up an internet browser. I'm going to open up Firefox. You can open up an internet browser of your choosing. Once you have it open, um, go out to your favorite search engine. Mine happens to be google.com and type in iTunes. And when I start doing that, it comes up there, and I can just go ahead and click on iTunes. As you can see, iTunes-Apple. And right down below here, it says Download iTunes, and that's what we want to go ahead and click on. And once you do, it takes you out to the Apple.com website where you can download iTunes. And this is the link here. And uh, I'll have this link in my video description so you don't have to remember it or scrunch your eyes to look at it. All right. Um, now, an interesting thing is that right in the dead center, it says iTunes for Windows. Get it from Microsoft, from the Microsoft Store. And it does work. You can click here. It opens up the Microsoft Store. I'm not going to do that. Um, well, yeah, I will. I'll go ahead and do that and let you see what it looks like and scroll down and you can see iTunes here get it for free and click here and that will start downloading iTunes to your Windows 10 and if you don't want to download it from the Microsoft Store for whatever reason you can go down here and it says here looking for other versions we can go ahead and click on Windows and as you can see it says Windows Store again however here's a little trick if you go ahead and scroll up now you can download iTunes for Windows from the Apple.com website and this happens to be the 64-bit version and if you don't want 64-bit you can download the 32-bit this way you don't have to go out to the Microsoft Store and download iTunes if you don't want to and I'm gonna go ahead and click on download now the 64-bit and in Firefox it asks me do I want to save this file and I'm gonna click on save file and it's begun to download. I'll click on the download arrow here. And then I can click on open file. All right, Windows installer, preparing, gathering information. And then I can go ahead and click on next. And I'll take the defaults for the installation and click on install. The installation is complete and I can click on finish and I'm going to go ahead and do that and that'll start iTunes up and first thing that I'm going to get is the iTunes software license agreement and once you've completed reading through it you can go ahead and click on agree and you have to click on agree here again and once you do you're all set iTunes is installed on your computer you can certainly go to the iTunes store and the store presents me with new music that I can download. Okay, that's the end of this video. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.